All right, so so tell me, um, so obviously you're new, and, and I mean, clearly everybody does it. Give me three people that you consistently watched as you came into Crump. Three Crumpers. Three Crumpers that is just like, oh, I like, he, he does that, or she does that. Let me, let me try that. Oh, that's tough, because there are so many Crumpers right. that you just latch on at different times. Um, I watched Ruin a lot when I came in. Mm-hmm. Um, for obvious reasons. Um, like what? Like, he's a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. He's a powerhouse. And his ability to control a lot of what he's doing, I find, like, wow. Like, you can just see everything. Mm-hmm. Um, and since I was, like, intensity, like, I was very fluid when I came in. Mm-hmm. So I was, I was, like, to engage your body, um, especially, like, just in the way that he does. Like, he very good at musicality. I think he could dance well. So mm-hmm. he was just somebody I looked at um, before, really, I got into Crump, I feel. Or, like, just right at the beginning. I always knew of Ruin. Right. Um, Pashonda, obviously. Um, or Lady C4. Um, I watched her. Well, I hope she don't watch this because now she's going to be like a fangirl. Oh, it's definitely going on. It's definitely okay. going on. It's definitely going on. She's going to see it. But um, – I watched more of her history. Like, I, I literally took the time just to try to find all of her <laughs> videos. Because I wanted to see how she became what she is now, her progression. Right. Um, how she started. Because now that I'm training and trying, um, I know how we started is not how we are now at all. Right. So, I just wanted to see from another woman's perspective, her mm. growth, and just how she's embodied, you know, how she is now. Because mm-hmm. um, obviously, I feel like a lot of us just respect her skill. Mm-hmm. Um, a third one. That's hard. I watched like all of you guys. <laughs> Let me see. Anyone overseas or anything like that? Um. There's. I have her face in mind, but I, I don't have her name. Black white. No, she she's white. I, I just post reposted her. Um, ugh, her name is mistaking me, but I, I mean I watched like Concrete mm-hmm. or obviously you. <laughs> you no, actually I'm gonna talk about you because I did look at all your history. Oh my! God. Like back when this man had no locks. I like think, I, I think took that the is time. one thing that I definitely want to go back and just like erase history. Listen. Like. I, back when y'all was outside on this fence, it was just a lot. Like, I saw Disco when he had locks, and this y'all was is, all this there. Is, John uh, the battle she is referencing is Boy Chaos versus <laughs> Boy Bison when we were in Mesquite. Mm. We were in Mesquite at a tennis court. That's when the power, when they shot up, or there were some gunshots, and the police came and shut us off. We were dancing at the tennis court, and I'm pretty sure it was Beyond Buckner, so, that session, so. Okay. That's what she's referencing. I, <laughs> No, I need to race that battle. I'll erase that. No, battle don't. <laughs> like I like, I, like I said, I like looking at y'all's history because how you were then is not how you are now at all. At all. And um, not to gas him, but he is. I did watch you a lot because I know that you are so versatile, and you know all this, a lot of styles of dance. So I just wanted to see how you were able to turn that off mm-hmm. and switch into crumb because I find that difficult in the beginning stages. Right. Um, and your style changed a lot, so it was interesting to see you without locks. <laughs> Young <laughs> Tyler. Oh, jeez. Well, so. maybe one day we'll get the taper fade back, you know what I'm saying? But, you, <laughs> you know, know? My, my goal is literally I, I want to get my hair longer than Britney's. Like, talk that shit for a Listen, little bit. It's getting there. But it is what it is. But let your lock journey be your own journey. <laughs> Right. Um, so, okay. Okay. Well, cool, cool. All right. So, obviously... Trending topics. Mm. Crump World seems to be in quite a disarray. Um, and I think that's a consistent thing that I think that kind of war- wards people off, especially rookies, is that they see a lot of the the drama, the politics, you know, the beefs, you know, the everyday quarrels that we have amongst each other. How, on a scale to one to ten, just flat out, like how intimidating or how much that does that kind of turn you off to like to the movement? 10 being like, I'm, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Um, probably like a two. 
Hmm. I it's only now that I've seen the forum like this. Right. <laughs> it has not been like this all year long. Right. I promise. Um, well, in the beginning, because there was a lot of lives. Yeah. With, you know who? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is the first one. I'm like, oh, it's just going. It's just going. Um, I I just at this point. I'm like, oh, just stay off the page. Mm-hmm. Um, because I feel like when we all get in, we're just constantly refreshing. What's going on? This is exciting. Uh, but now I can see how the politics actually work. Mm-hmm. And now that I am in, you know, the Chrome community or I'm trying to develop a name for myself, I'm like, oh, I need to learn how to, like, tune this out. Right. Um, so that I don't get overwhelmed with it or become sensitive or just anything like that. Because it's still social media at the end of the day. Right. Um, it doesn't turn me off in the slightest because I know why I came into Crump. I didn't even know y'all did Facebook groups, so, <laughs> so I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't really, you know, it doesn't bother me a whole lot. But it, it's interesting. Um, not that we have to talk about it directly. I don't know if you are <laughs> eventually, but uh, <laughs> right, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I mean, because I, I feel like that was all coming regardless, just because I know dance in a mainstream way so like to see crumpers you know like side eyes and all those guys turn it into mainstream i'm like oh here comes crump trying to do what you know right. uh, every other style already does to be honest yeah um it's just was it's such a street culture dance i feel like crump has this two lane thing of like keep it in the streets and then you got other people that are like no we need to actually build businesses off of this or we need to actually make this um, just as mainstream as hip hop or ballet or any other genre of dance. So I already saw that there were two mindsets to this. Um, obviously, with quotes and all that other stuff, that just brought a different like <laughs> taste to it. <laughs> but um, no, I, I just I've just tuned it out. Like it's 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 too much. It's a constant post yeah. over the same yeah. things. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everybody's clearly emotionally charged, and like I've said before, and you've heard me say this, I, I tell everybody, like, you can't, you just can't tell somebody else how they're supposed to feel about it, because again, mm-hmm. I mean, the, we are talking about, you know, the creators of, or one of the creators of Crump here, mm-hmm. like, so I mean, obviously, and he's been so committed to making sure that he has been in the streets and laying the foundation of what Crump is supposed to be, regardless of his beliefs, but as far as, like, how, sh- you know, shit should be handled, as far as, like, battling you know, calling somebody out, like, you know, keeping it buck, you know, keeping it gully or whatever the case may be, whatever the words that we're using now. <laughs> but, I mean, that's that's where we're at at this particular time, so. Yeah. I do I, feel like I missed that portion, though, because of my age and the era I came in, which is of the technology stage mm-hmm. of life, that I came in when, I not that the authenticity, authenticity is gone, but I won't get to experience that when it was just, Rock crumb. War time. It was just war time. Yeah, we call it war um, time. <laughs> now it's getting glossy. It's getting pretty. Right. And I did, I guess, romanticize crump of the the rawness, you know, of, of that era because yeah. that's what I saw. But now that I'm in it, it looks nothing like that. Yeah. No violence <laughs> at all. Yeah. So it's it, it's 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 different. It's different. I mean, it will. The thing that, and I can't. I think. Um, Jig Man, twenty three, uh, you know, <laughs> he said that Crump is about to come to way, come together in a very beautiful, beautiful way, mm-hmm. and I agree with that because honestly, it's not that I personally think that Mio and Tata shouldn't be in Crump, but I think that now nobody can hide mm-hmm. under the umbrella of, of Tata eyes and Mio or anything like that. It's not to say that I don't ever think they should leave or they shouldn't have fans or anything like that, but um, I think they would both agree that it's important for you to, again, to trek out, you know, have your own journey and stuff like that. Don't use my name to, to carve your lane. Right. Um, you know, not that's, that's not a shot in anybody in any way, shape, form, or fashion, but it's, it's important for you to do that. So, I mean, if you can't stand on your own, then you can't stand anywhere. So. That's true. But, uh, so what's um, long-term? Like, what's, what's one thing that you want to have done, like, that you want to accomplish in Crump? battle somebody win a, win a <laughs> tournament or something like that like, um well it's gonna be a lot of those things right like to because for me like i always make it right there mm-hmm. 
And granted, I've only done it twice. But, like, <laughs> it, it's right there. <laughs> so, just take the dub right. would be nice in a tournament. Travel is my goal for sure within this year and next year as well. Just travel and see other crumpers or crump in just different areas mm -hmm. um, and meet more people. But, um, honestly, my main goal is just that when and if I do get battles, that they are proficient quality battles. Yeah, you're not going to get that. <laughs> Listen, but that is my goal. Like, I, I want to make sure that I am well equipped, right. that I can stand up for myself because we are battling, right? right. Um, and that the person that I'm exchanging with can provide that same energy because I don't, it's just better that way yeah. to have, Battles in general, so I yeah, you you definitely you definitely I think that you'll get those. You're always you're gonna get at least one battle to where you're just completely outmatched, and you're mm. always, you're gonna get one battle to where it's like this is a waste of my time. <laughs> I should not be here. So yeah, as long as I can at least like stand on my two feet. If I get washed, I get washed. Mm -hmm. But I just want to always make sure that I come with a certain caliber. That it's like okay, I gave a fight, you know. Right. Um, so that that's that's a big goal, at least for this year, is just to get one good battle in. That's like, wow, that was a really good exchange. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you might have to start battling some. Uh, how, I'm about how, to start how asking. Feel, <laughs> how, how do you feel about that? Because I, I know, like back in the day, and obviously times have changed. Like, how do you feel about battling men versus battling women? Oh, I feel like we talked about that before. Um, I they, feel they, like they, it's they not. Women. Well, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. Um, we're not going to use the word sexist because <laughs> we're going to be politically correct. But um, of the matchups of women always being with women or the, the men and women don't happen as frequently as I like, mm -hmm. I think. Um, because at the end of the day, I feel like they're always trying to match up the gender. So if mm -hmm. you don't find this other woman for this woman, it's like, okay, well, they're just not going to have a battle and they'll go to somebody else. Mm -hmm. I personally don't have any, like, you know, I, I get the biological factors that, oh, he's a man, I'm a woman, so mm -hmm. he may be able to present it differently or he's stronger than me, da-da-da, but I, I don't have any qualms about it. Like, I, I genuinely just want to be able to battle people. Um... I don't feel like I have enough, like, both feet in the game to really be like, I'm going to avoid men. I only <laughs> want women. Uh, granted, to battle another one, I feel like will evoke a certain energy because it's just like, mm. it's more competitive because you feel like you're in the same lane. Yeah, and, we, and, we, and right. I think as, as we all know in the crumb game, like, the most vicious battles that I've ever seen are from women much more than they are from men. Men get aggressive, and you might get a little push here and there and stuff like that. But as the crump world knows, we've seen some pretty violent battles. Listen, we have something to say. <laughs> so, I mean, but you ain't got to say that. Like, crump is aggressive, but it's not violent. Listen, no, we just never get to express it. So that's why I enjoy crump, though, because it just it mm. has that energy. But I, I would love to be able to battle powerful women. Mm in general it'd be great i think y'all's generation is, is is definitely going to be great um because honestly you guys are not or ladies or women are, are not subjected to the same set of just bad traditions and, and habits of like you know men that were in power like back in the day because you know we saw how you know some men abused their authority you know manipulated a lot of people and you know put you know women in positions solely because of their relationship behind closed doors but mm -hmm. that's I think a, a generation of men are definitely breaking out to where they, they hold themselves accountable and they're being respectful. Can't say for everything, you know, stuff like that. We're going to have those hiccups that we are, but, you know, some of us, we hold ourselves <laughs> a much better standard and right. stuff like that. So I think you, you definitely ain't got to worry about that and like that. But, right. but it, it's, you know, if it happens, it happens, it happens. So, so give me, what, who, who is Instinct? The, uh, the people want to know. You do know, they? <laughs> I, I, as as y'all know, and, and as the people that do hit me up are watching this, y'all hit me up about Instinct quite a bit. 
So I think you should tell the people like who who in, who instinct is like you know they they want to know. I don't understand. What do they what do they want to know? What I do on a day to day, or they just oh, want to know gosh. the crumper? I don't get it. <laughs> what they what do y'all want? <laughs> I mean, explain this like who is instinct? Like what is where where did instinct come from? Um, well, my my name is Jada in Hebrew. That means she knows the knowing one. So I feel that how I've always moved, um, no matter what genre I'm in, I look natural. It's always a natural movement. That's probably come from knowing um, training foundations or techniques into me early on. So it's literally just been feeling up until this point. Um, so everything I do is instinctually. Mm -hmm. That's really where the name came from. I feel like where I'm at is where I'm supposed to be, not to get into spirituality, but I do feel like that's a big part of this dance or any dance or any artistry you're in. Um, it feels very purposeful. So I feel that when you see instinct, it's not always just a dancer who's trying to be just to dance. I really am trying to invoke a certain energy around me and I, f I feel that I do. Energy. Energy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't get away from that word. <laughs> Save my life. Uh, but it, it's true. I want to give everyone an experience uh, when they watch me because I'm trying to talk to you. But I'm, you're teaching me, and I'm trying to learn how to better talk to you so that you know it becomes more literal because um, how I'm operating now is feeling, feeling alone. So instinct is a persevere or a warrior you know she's somebody who's been through I feel a lot but nothing really seems to be able to stop me from progressing no matter what I've gotten into even as far as I've grown in crump um I mean I'm very committed but I do feel like that is because it is purposeful and I'm supposed to be here so it's a hard question because I'm like, I could just tell you what I do for a living. That would be easier. <laughs> but to be like, oh, who is instinct? I just, I feel like it's the name. It's just an instinctual dancer. It's never going to look the same, I hope and pray. Gotcha. I don't want to be that cropper. Gotcha. <laughs> well said. Right?